I've had this cookbook for a really long time, but I've never made anything out of it because usually when I cook, I just wang jangle some stuff together and hope for the best. Uh, so today I thought we would roll some dice and see what recipe we get. Then head over to the store. All right, we got 15. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Apple risotto. Hmm, that does not sound appealing to me. Uh, okay, all right, sure, let's do that. Bye, Pippin. I've got the goods, and most importantly, I've got the treats. Uh, this is a very simple recipe. It shouldn't take very long, so let's get cooking. Ah! We're gonna add our apple juice. I forgot to turn down the heat. That's my bad. The best way to make bacon. And I won't hear any arguments about it. That's looking good. All of the apple juice has been absorbed into the rice. It's time to slowly add in our stock. Little by little. It's a labor of love. We're gonna dice up our apple. It looks like it's peeled in the recipe, but I am too lazy for that. So I'm not gonna peel it. Ugh. It's taken a while, but I brought back up. Here's the end results. It looks pretty fine. <laughs> apple. You know, apples is not the first thing I would go for uh, when making a risotto, nor have I ever tried it before. So maybe I'll change my mind now. <sighs> That's hot. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. You can like barely taste the apple. There's like a a faint taste of apple. Let's taste some bacon. Yeah, honestly, it's not bad. I thought the flavor combo sounded kind of whack, but the saltiness of the bacon goes really well with like the the sweetness of the apple risotto. 
success. And we got to try something new today, which was really nice. And what I wanted to accomplish with doing this whole thing. So that's, that's awesome. That's the real victory here. Do you approve of the dish that we made today? Thank you.